everyone, welcome to Obidia TV. It's me, your sister, your friend, Obidia Wanyoma. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I appreciate the love and support. So, guys, in this channel, we do cooking, talk show, life story, relationship experts. That is all Please we do. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that anytime I put a video, you will be notified. Thank you to all my returning subscribers. So, guys, why is it that whenever we see a couple celebrating 10 years, 15 years anniversary, we are so surprised? Yes, we are surprised because in our society today, you will see a couple married today and they will divorce tomorrow. But do you know you can even celebrate 40 years, 50 years, even together anniversary forever when you marry for the right reason? Yes, marry for the right reason. You will celebrate 100 years anniversary. God bless you. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Obedia TV. It's me, your sister, your friend, your girl, Obedia Wanyoma. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back to my channel. God bless you. I appreciate I hope you all are doing great. So, guys, today's topic is about a man that is facing some stress in his marriage. So this man said that um, he and the wife, they have been married for close to nine years. They have two lovely children. He said that their home is very beautiful. Everything is okay, you know, except in their sexual life, they are lacking a lot. So he said that close to two years now, whenever he call his wife for size, the wife will refuse. At first, uh, he was thinking maybe he's passing some true stress, which he tried to find out, but the, man, the woman have not to say, all he said that he's not in the mood. So the thing continue like that. Now it's close to two years. They are still facing it. The man said for this close to two years, he's been doing so pee. That is what the woman have turned him into. Doing so pee. That is what he has been doing for close to two years now. Doing so pee. I said, wow, this is really, really tough. So for those of you that don't know what sopi is, let me see if there is a way I can explain it for you guys to understand what I'm trying to say. I don't just want to mention the name here. You guys know how white it is. I don't want them to you bring the video down or something, you know. So sopi is when a man is manipulating his kokumba by himself. So that is what we call sopi. I hope you understand. So, guys, this is what this man has been passing through. So, he said it's really tough for him. He has called his wife, talk with him to know if there is anything wrong, but there is nothing. The woman said it's okay, just that he doesn't feel up to it for close to two years. How can that be possible? So, he said he now decides to involve his in-law. He reports to his wife, mom. So they promised to call their daughter and talk with her, which they did. So he said when she returned from her um, parents' side, the thing even became worse. He no longer sleep in the same bed with him. They no longer sleep together to the point that he was even afraid. What could have happened uh, with, uh, between her and her parents, you know? So he now decided to call his in-law and ask them, how did the meeting with their daughter go? That the case had become even worse. So he said the mother-in-law told him to be more patient. So he now asked the mother-in-law, is there anything your daughter is hiding for him that you guys know? He said the mother said, no, there is nothing. That they have talked to her. He should just give her a little time. She now said, okay, no problem. So she gave her more three months. The thing still remain the same thing, you know. So, 
this man said that he now convey in one of he just like a metal a uh, metal to him he now convey on the man and the man said that maybe the woman is doing it elsewhere how can a woman be for close to two years without sex if he's not having it outside so he said here that he almost got mad you know so he wanted to just ask the woman but he decided to withdraw because it might just be that nothing like that he don't want to accuse the woman wrongly you know so he now decided to talk to a few people if there would be any advice that could help this family in this uh, hard time so that is when he also decided to talk to me about it as he said he said he talked to like all to four different people so he's waiting from different advice on how to carry on so guys this is the topic and this topic my people is is very very difficult you know it's very very difficult so i decide to bring it here so that you guys will help me to choke them out but before that i asked the man is there any way you should think is there any way he's not treated the woman right this man said no that the woman was even the one that insists that he want to have a show he said he don't even want his wife to work because he is capable. So the woman now insists he wants a shop. So he now opened one big shop for her. Where that he always go there two times a week because he has a sales guest, you know. So he go there twice a week, you understand. So he said he provide everything for his family. They are doing well in terms of finance, you understand. They are okay, you know there is no problem apart from this um sex life this is the only place they're having problem you understand so i asked the man are you sure there is nothing maybe there is something you have done that the woman know and maybe you don't know he said no that he not be shit type you know i was kind of thinking maybe you understand something like that if you cheat on the woman the man said lie lie he said lie lie so he said nothing like that. That he can even swear. Since swear and this in wife married, he never touched any other woman. You understand? He never see any other woman lap apart from his wife. You understand? So he not do anything outside. So now he brings the matter come. And I say, wow, my people, this matter strong go. I just the reason the thing. Waiting go make wife not go get that sexual urge where a husband did not be say once i know say sometimes you feel feel tired you feel weak you don't feel up to it yeah not be say something will just continue for one year two years no this one eh, is that is i don't even know how to explain it this one is something else you understand so it's really really difficult to the point that a man that have a wife is not doing so pay my people it's not easy it's not easy so my advice now to this man what i already told him he should wash very very well number one if the woman is okay maybe there is is facing some challenging maybe consign ahead or something you understand i told the husband he should check on his wife doctor talk with the doctor to see if maybe he have any health issue any health problem you understand he might be facing something you should find out maybe stress one or two things you just have to pull eye down and take everything calm with her i believe there is some stress that maybe she don't want to open up about and tell her husband if there is no any of this thing i mentioned then maybe she's getting it elsewhere you understand 
maybe she's getting it elsewhere. Because woman, you not be virgin. Mother of two. The thing where they sweet you automatically can't become uh, can't sour, can't be bitter leaf. You know they sweet you again. So something they under. Maybe he's getting it outside. He have someone. He's cheating on the man. Yeah, that is what I think. You understand? So if not, how do you explain this? Eh? The thing is really, really strange. How can a woman stay for close to two years without the touch of her husband? Not that your husband travel. You guys are in the same house. How is that possible? So something is definitely wrong. So I just tell this man to take everything calm and do underground investigation, you know, to be sure before if he have anything to do before he will do anything, you understand? So I decide to also bring this matter here. Please, my people, what do you guys think? Because this is very, very bad. I used to think that men that do so pee are men that don't have wife or they don't have girlfriend. Even so pee, I'm against it. Whether you are married or you are not married, if you feel that urge, at least you can go, you know, with men, many. You understand? How much more? Man, we get wife, go they do so. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. So, P itself has bad side effect. You know, he has side effect. He will have effect on this man. So, it's not good. If a man who is not married is passing this kind of stress, it's understandable for a married woman, um, a married man to be facing this kind of uh, stress. It's not good. I don't support this at all. So, my people, please let hear your opinion. Let hear your advice. Anything will help this our brother. The man said that he is going crazy, that he don't want to cheat on his wife. But the way everything is going now, the woman is trying to push him outside. Eh? Let it not be that. Maybe when this man now finally enter outside, then the man, the woman will not get herself and come and realize the mistake. Then it will be too late. Then it will be too late. He should just wake up, realize the mistake, whatever it is, whether the man wrong her or not, they should just talk it over and carry on. Because my people, you see, when it comes to this sense of a thing, is a very very strong part that whole marriage except in a case where those two people involved in this marriage maybe they, they, they are part of the body is not for sure anywhere except that but if not you not go work the marriage will not work so it's very very important so please guys choke your mat here drop your advice what do you think any advice for this our brother Please leave it at the comment section. We will really, really appreciate it. God bless you all so much for always stopping by. I appreciate my lovely people. God bless you all so much for always coming. If today is your first time coming across my channel, please hit that red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I'm on live or I drop a video like this, you will be the first person to be notified. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Please leave your comment. Give this video a like if it makes sense. Share this video with friends and family. God bless you as you do that. If you have anything for us, story, whatever it may be, you want us to talk about, get in touch with us with that phone number at the description box of this video and the email address there. Free, free. We are always there. Your identity will be safe. You have nothing to worry about. Thank you so much. Until I see you on my next video, guys. Remember, bless. And bye.